Let's play. So the ground and machine, the battle begins with the cutter head. Today we're going to start with very exciting kinds of TVMs. So now is the time to look at the combination of these machines. As the tunneling is becoming more exciting and more challenging, TBMs are up for the challenge. Hello everybody and welcome to day five of this online course on tunneling with tunnel boring machines. And today we're going to start with a very exciting kind of or kinds of TBMs. So far, we have looked at the major types of TBMs that you see around yourself, open gripper machine, single shield machine and double shield machines, these three for application in rocks. And we also looked at two soft ground machines, EPB machines and the study shield machine. In the presentation yesterday on study shield machine, we also looked at a very exciting variant of study shield machine, which is mixed shield machine. So now is the time to look at the combination of these machines. As the tunneling is becoming more exciting and more challenging, and TBMs are up for the challenge. So the TBM manufacturers, they have always dreamt of a machine which can bore through all kinds of uh, geologies, while that dream may be some distance away before it is really realized, but they're not too far away from that. And I'm talking about hybrid machines. The combination of various machines to make these machines run through changing geologies. So for that, we have to look at this presentation, which is coming your way and uh, for which I have to share my screen. And here it is, hybrid tunnel boring machines. And as the bottom line there says, TBMs for mixed grounds. And these TBMs, the hybrid TBMs are known by different names largely promoted by different manufacturers. So different names which you will come across for hybrid machines are hybrid. I'm using that name, multi-mode machines, crossover machines, etc. You also see dual mode machines, etc. Okay, so let's get going. What you see on the screen, that picture is from the project Helen SAS project. We talked briefly about this project when we were talking about the history of a modern history of TBMs and Helen SAS project in Sweden. And it's uh, from the technical point of view, a very important project. Also from environmental point of view and from the point of view of uh, this project uh, making headlines, as I told you, this is also an important project from their point of view. So this picture is uh, of a machine which is breaking through in a cavern and uh, it is one of the hybrid machines. Right. So let's get going. As I mentioned, the types of TBMs which have been described in previous presentations, they may reach their limits of applicability, the range for which they are, they are applied as far as the geology is concerned. They may reach their limit when they come across highly variable ground condition. Because you see, all projects cannot be chosen in such a way that uh, they fit within the application range of, of specific TBM types in various projects. And the, the stock of such projects is on the increase now. You are increasingly having projects which require TBMs to bore through changing geologies or different ground conditions or variable ground conditions. So along such an alignment, the variable ground that we are talking about can change from stable rock to soft water bearing ground and the opposite of it, particularly for longer section, longer terms. So such alignments pose the most demanding challenges in tunnel construction. And it is really heartening that the modern TVMs are up for the challenge. How do they overcome such challenges? Because traditionally, TVMs are considered not very adaptable to changing ground conditions because of the fact, as you saw, that they are designed for certain specific type of ground conditions. And uh, it's not the fault of anybody because the way TBMs are constructed, you have a cutter head or a cutting wheel, you have cutting tools on top of it, which is actually, you know, that uh, cutting wheel and the tools are designed for certain type of ground condition. Okay. Also many other things, you saw everything. It's very difficult to sort of sum up this particular aspect 
in, in just a few minutes. So I rely on the fact that you remember whatever I have told you about different machines and the mechanisms and the principles and, and the operating principles and, and, and the sequences, whatever goes into the operation of those machines. Right? Time now to recall that memory and apply them in combining the machines. Okay. There have been efforts by the manufacturers of TBMs to develop TBMs which can operate in a number of different modes. So it has been a wish or dream of tunnel builders for a very long time that if they could have just one machine, same machine could go through changing ground conditions. And as I said, we are coming closer to realizing that dream. So machine manufacturers and the contractors have created numerous names for this idea in recent years, such as hybrid machine, dual mode machine, a multi board machine, crossover machine, variable density machine, etc. So with that, we come to the end of this presentation on hybrid machine. I hope you are now able to understand about different types of machines. So what we have done so far, as far as the machines are concerned, after the introductory presentations on day one and partly on day two, we moved to different types of machines and to discuss about each of those types in slightly more detail, starting with the three rock machines, with the gripper TBM, open gripper machine, single shield machine and double shield machine. And then we moved to the detailed presentations on the two soft ground machines, EPB machine and study shield machine. During the presentation on study shield machine, we looked at this exciting variant mixed shield machine. And we, we understood how some of these large machines, particularly under high pressure, are mixed shield machines. And then finally, today, we looked at how you can combine these principles, how you can combine the, the rock machine with an EPB machine or a rock machine with a study sheet machine or an EPB machine with a study machines. So I think you are bubbling with the knowledge now as far as machines are concerned. So it allows us the opportunity to discuss some more detailed aspects of these machines. And one of the first things or the first thing that you look, when you look at the machine, what is the first thing that you look at? The cutter head or the cutting wheel. The cutter head, the cutting wheel, also the first component of the machine that comes in contact with the ground. Hello, how are you? The first with the ground. Let's play. So the ground and machine, the battle begins with the cutter head, cutting wheel. That is, in that sense, one of the most important aspect, parts of TBM. So let's start with that part. Okay. So we have two options again, soft ground tunneling and the hard ground tunneling. So soft ground cutter heads and hard ground cutter heads. So let's start with the soft ground cutter heads because last few days, two, three days, we were talking about soft ground machines. So that knowledge will continue. That's why let's start with the soft ground cutter heads for which I have to share the screen and show you that presentation. 